All right, we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here, coming at you with my November 2014 update video for, you guessed it, November 2014. Woo. So yeah, as always with these uh, monthly updates, I'm going to be giving you guys some uh, YouTube news as well as some personal life stuff. So yeah, stick around. And uh, as always, I got my uh, little show notes here off to the side, so if you see me kind of looking over here, that's why. So let's begin with uh, some YouTube stuff. And uh, I know you guys are going to dig this, but almost all the archive videos have been released. Yay! <laughs> so yeah, um, basically what happened with that whole thing is um, I recorded a bunch of videos uh, a long time ago, and for one reason or another they just kind of sat there uh, just waiting to get edited, and they just kind of sat in the queue. And, you know, I just kind of like, eh, I'll edit it later, I'll edit it later, and, you know later turn into maybe a week, two weeks, a month, two months, and then next thing you know, like a year later, the video's getting released. Uh, but that's just one example. So, um, yeah, um, finally got them all out uh, that I know of. I may have to uh, dig a little deeper in my hard drive to find something else, but uh, as far as all the stuff that was in my queue, it's all good to go. So, yeah, um, but there is one series that I have yet to edit. And I know some of you guys are gonna be asking about that. And it's a little series called um, First Impact Anime. <laughs> so yeah, um, for those of you guys who don't know, First Impact Anime is a series, it's a collaboration series between me and my best friend, the Talking Madalkin, also known as Ariopolis, where we basically do kind of a mystery science theater-esque uh, review of the first episode of an anime series. and. We also do specials as well, you know, maybe like a movie and whatnot, so um, can't wait to get that series out, but uh, because the videos are longer and the editing is a little more involved than what's uh, normal for like my videos, uh, it, it will take a bit of time, but um, just know that I am actively working on it. I already got the first episode done, so... Uh, once I start cranking episodes out and setting up a schedule, I'll definitely let you guys know, so you can check it out. And you should also subscribe to uh, Floppination. Um, I'll put a link in the boopity boop down below so you guys can get all, you know, subscribed up, subbed up, why not? So uh, as soon as the episodes are released, you'll know. So yeah, that's a thing. And uh, another really big thing that uh, YouTube rolled out very recently is... Uh, putting videos with uh, 60 frames per second, which is a very big deal. Um, a lot of my videos from way back in the day were originally in 60 frames per second. This is talking about like years and years and years ago. But the thing is, like YouTube could only convert up to 30 frames per second at the time, so um, the videos didn't look quite as smooth. So I was a little bummed out about that, and I've been kind of bummed out about it for years. You know, I'm thinking like, well, they have all this 4K support and all this, that, and the other. You know, why not extra frame rates? At least 60. I mean, come on. And, you know, it's 2014. Well, almost 2015. Shit. <laughs> and they're just now releasing it. So, you know, good on you, YouTube. Thank you. So, um, as far as how that affects my channel, my videos, um, I'm going to try to push to make more uh, videos in 60 frames per second. Now, these type of updated videos with my uh, Sony... Alpha 5000, uh, they're still going to be at the standard, uh, like 25 frames per second, I believe. Yeah, 25 frames per second for this uh, this camera right here. But for my uh, my camcorder, my uh, Sony CX430V, I can't believe I remember that off the top of my head. Um, I'm going to be pushing to <coughs> excuse me to do uh, the 60 frames per second video. So you'll get more of like an action cam kind of style. And I've already recorded and uploaded my first uh, YouTube video in 60 frames per second. It is a, uh, a revisiting of the uh, Burger King uh, Black Burger, so that's going to be coming out of the pipe soon with uh, slightly improved audio and stuff. Yeah! <laughs> but it's still loud, so, you know, whatever. Anywho, uh, going through the notes here. B -b 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 that. Uh, cooking videos. Um, cooking has been a... Uh, a thing that I am not very good at, to be honest with you, despite all the lovely pictures of uh, kimchi fried rice that you guys see on my Instagram, instagram.com slash theandysan, 
just saying. <laughs> but um, I only know how to cook like a couple things. So um, in an effort to get me to <clears throat> not only eat out a little bit less, because I don't know if you guys know this, but also to improve my cooking skills and just to have a wider variety of food to eat, I'm going to be learning how to cook and uh, presenting it in nice cooking videos as well. So uh, a couple weeks ago I got a crock pot to help get me started on the cooking path and I'm learning how to make uh, vegetable soups, uh, chili and uh, things like that. So those are definitely videos to look out for and I'm going to try to you know refine the recipes and stuff like that so you too can be cooking with Andy. <laughs> That was a cooking with dog reference, by the way. So, anywho, uh, there's that. And uh, <clears throat> next thing I want to talk about for YouTube stuff before we move on to personal life stuff is YouTube 101, the series that uh, hasn't made its debut yet. But um, the reason I'm going to be making it is to basically answer some YouTube questions and things like that. Just how, just kind of give you like the basics of you know how to make videos what kind of stuff should you put up on your channel things like that so um, I'm not gonna get super duper technical and I realize that you know some people have their platforms and their editing software and their choice of cameras and you know I recognize that I'm just going to explain how I make videos and what has worked for me in the past so you know different strokes for different folks if you wanna Work with uh, different uh, whatever equipment, gear, uh, editing software, and whatnot. That's fine. I'm just going to show you what works for me. So stay tuned for that series. <laughs> and now, <clears throat> excuse me, ah, kind of sore throat here. But I'm um, moving on to personal life stuff, and uh, this is some really important stuff. Uh, so um, first on the list is. Uh, going home for New Year's leave. Um, instead of going home for Christmas this year, I decided to go home for New Year's just so that way I can not only spend time with uh, my family but also with my friends as well. And uh, they were really busy during the holiday season, you know, obviously, you know, they want to be with their own families and, you know, some of them have wives and kids of their own so they want to be with both families and you know it's kind of hard to sneak in friends during Christmas time you know so I understand that I'm not mad it's just it is what it is so I've decided to come home during New Year's instead so that way I can hang out with everybody hopefully <laughs> so um, <clears throat> really excited about that uh, unfortunately I'm not going to be there for very long probably about a week and a half all, all uh, things considered but um, it will be nice to be home even if it is for just a short amount of time. And uh, the last little thing I'm going to talk about before uh, I let you guys go tonight is um, pretty important stuff, actually. Um, and I know, like eight and a half minutes into this video, you know, I'm just now getting to the good stuff. So um, anyway, uh, in an earlier video, a couple months back, um, I talked about uh, filing an early out chit from the Navy. So that way I can uh, get out and uh, start college full time again. And uh, at the time I was just kind of iffy. I'm like, you know, should I do it? Should I not do it? I mean, it's only a year difference. I mean, really? You know, and I was just kind of weighing the pros and cons of uh, getting out early versus staying in for that extra year and then getting out. And you know, there's, <clears throat> excuse me, there's a lot of pros to staying in even just for like a year. You know, you get to save up on money, uh, you know, you get another year in Japan, another year to make awesome videos in Japan and things like that. And also another year to travel the world, you know, go to all these awesome, amazing ports and things like that. And yeah, just another year, you know. Um, but, you know, I just, you know, I really did a lot of thinking about it and I've decided to apply for the, uh, the early out shit. So since it's only gonna basically shave just a year off my time, you know, it's I don't think it's uh, very unreasonable to do, in my opinion. So, um, and I also talked with my chain of command about it, and they all seem very supportive of the idea. You know, they're like, you know what, you got a good solid plan. 
we'll back you up. So I feel really good about it now. And uh, <clears throat> so basically the plan is to um, file an early out shit. So instead of getting out of the Navy in June of 2016, I'll be getting out May of 2015. And you know, keep in mind this is all based on if the chick gets approved by the by the CO or not. So, you know, it all depends pretty much on him. So, um, fingers crossed. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it comes to fruition. And uh, I just want to let you guys know that you know the the reason that I'm leaving the Navy isn't because you know oh the Navy sucks or oh the Navy fucked me over or blah, 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 whatever. Um, the reason I'm leaving is just because I feel that it's basically my time to go. And, uh, you know, I'm, I don't feel like I'm being forced out or anything like that. I feel like, um, <clears throat> at this time in my life, I feel like I've done everything that I want to do in the Navy. You know, I've got to, um, get out of Mercer County, for better or worse, and, you know, see the world, experience cultures vastly different from my own not only get to visit them, but to live in them as well. I mean, I'm living in Japan. I have an all-expense-paid apartment in Japan. I don't have a college degree, but yet I'm still living and working in Japan in a non-scrupulous occupation. You know, take that as you will. But um, I have all these great things going for me, but there's this feeling really kind of deep down inside that says, you know what? You had your fun, but it's ultimately time to move on. Move on to bigger and better things and to begin the next chapter in your life. And I'm really excited about that. It's very scary, <laughs> don't get me wrong. There's a lot of things that kind of, you know, keep me on edge at night, you know, just thinking about them. But I am really excited to uh, be beginning this next chapter in my life. And, you know, it's definitely, <clears throat> definitely a lot to walk away from. You know, being in the Navy, and not, and I'm not just your average sailor. You know, I got a lot of, and I don't mean to brag or anything like that. This isn't me, you know, being all like, yeah, you know, I'm kind of popular. But you know, I got a lot of people that uh, look up to me and watch my videos and stuff like that, and are constantly asking me, you know, Navy questions. You know, hey, is the Navy a good thing? You know, what can I do to join? You know, and just stuff like that. And for me to walk away from all that is, you know, might raise a red flag to him and think, well, if this guy, you know, has been in the Navy and he's deciding to leave, you know, is this whole Navy thing even worth it? You know, I mean, he left, you know, what's going on? But, you know, it's ultimately my choice. It's my own personal choice. And, you know, if you want to join the Navy, do your 20 years and leave, you know, you can do that. If you want to do your initial enlistment, get out, go to college or wherever, you can do that too. So it's all what you want out of the Navy. Don't let, you know, my personal choices, you know, dictate what you want. So anyway, uh, moving on with the plan, <laughs> explain the plan and whatnot. Um, and I, I don't want to give away the name, but I'm going to because I didn't want to give away the name because I didn't want to, you know, kind of jinx myself with the whole thing, but uh, I'm just really excited about, the, about it. So uh, the plan is uh, when I get out of the Navy, whether that's May of 2015 or June of 2016, you know, um, I plan on applying, well, I'll have applied, I plan on going to uh, college. So um, the college I plan on going to is in Michigan, Western Michigan, you know, Hopefully I didn't jinx, jinx myself there. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> so I plan on going to uh, Western Michigan in Michigan. So, uh, yeah. And uh, they got an excellent uh, Japanese exchange program there as well. So um, fear not. You know, people that think, you know, oh, you're going to move back to America and you're never going to come back to Japan again. Oh, no. <laughs> fear not. I will return. And... Uh, yeah, the plan is to go to Western Michigan, um, continue my degree, which is uh, Computer Information Systems. Sounds kind of ho-hum, but it's actually just a uh, kind of a business meets uh, computers type degree. So it's kind of a, a hybrid of the two. So I'm taking business classes and programming classes, and it's a nice, it's a nice balance. And I think 
Um, well, I'm also gonna try to mi minor in uh, Japanese as well, so I can, you know, put some of my uh, real-world experience to some use and, you know, get something down on paper saying, you know, hey, this guy kind of knows a thing or two. He's not exactly para para in the Nihon Go, but you know, he knows a thing or two. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, and also, for those of you who've been uh, watching uh, the J Vlogging community for for uh, for a long time. You'll know that uh, Western Michigan was also the same university that the late great Roger Swan went to back in the day as well. And don't don't get me wrong, you know, don't don't misunderstand. Um, I'm not joining, or I'm not planning on applying to that university because he went. Um, it's just one of those little things, and plus they have uh, so many uh, other benefits besides the whole uh, Japan Exchange program as well. So. Um, you know, they have one of the best uh, veterans programs out there as well. So if you're a veteran, you get in-state tuition. Uh, there's also a lot of veterans grants and things like that that I could apply for to help uh, kind of ease ease up on the financial costs. And I know what you guys are saying, well, Andy, the GI Bill covers everything. Yeah, but, you know, there's also other expenses too. And, you know, hey, what if I want to take summer courses? You know, <laughs> every little bit helps. I'm just saying. So um, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be really cool going uh, going back to college and just being being back home for a while. Cause don't get me wrong, I love Japan. Japan's been great to me, but I feel that it's time to uh, get back to my roots. You know, just kind of get back, get a bit closer to my family. You know, kind of you know, cause I got I, uh, my family is originally from Michigan, and uh, I guess I still have a lot of family out there, so I'll be close to them. And I'll still be fairly close to uh, my immediate family in Ohio as well. So, you know, I mean, granted, <laughs> I can't exactly, you know, stop over for lunch and go go back up. But um, definitely a lot closer, you know, than Japan. So, <laughs> there is that. So, like I said, I'm very nervous, but I'm also uh, really excited about all this. And, you know, I hope it all works out. Um, I'll keep you guys posted um, should anything else change. And with that said, this is the Andy-san, sign up for now, thanking you guys for tuning into this uh, extremely long video, apologize, and uh, for watching my other stuff. Also want to thank you guys for liking, the thumbs, and other peripheral devices, commenting, subscribing, send a few friends to the party, and hey, as always, we'll see you, you, next time. <laughs> Catch you later guys, bye.